Hi guys. Let's do that again. Hi guys. So you need to tell me that you guys only watch Wedding Party. Basically. <laughs> And of course, I'm, I'm nervous. You've got me sandwiched in between me and Emma. Like, I mean, it's a difficult position to be in. Um, I'd like to thank the ARM team for having me today. It's been a while since I stood in front um, of uh, a large group of people. So I'll try my best to talk about the power of you. And I think I'm going to change up my talk a little bit. I'm going to do it uh, in relation to what I do, which is just being in the entertainment and creative space. So first, I'll take you guys back. Um, some of you may know me just from Wedding Party or just from Ebony Live TV, but there was a, uh, you know, years and years of, of work that went into uh, getting to this place that I am today. Now, how many of you guys know that I'm actually a lawyer? What? None of you know that? Okay, you do, yes. Um, so I studied law. Uh, that's what I wanted to be. Um, that was what, uh, you know, my family insisted that, you know, you needed to have a good foundation and law was gonna be that for me. I wanted to become a media and entertainment lawyer. So I went to school, you know, I followed through with the power that was, you know, put in me and influenced by my family. And then slowly but surely, I started, you know, I started to develop a desire for something different. And it started when I was 16 and this guy came up to me in the park in London and he said, oh, you know, you're really tall and you're skinny. Have you ever thought about, no, he didn't speak like that, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, you're really tall and skinny. Have you ever considered being a model? And I was like, yeah. Okay, let's give it a go. So I tried it, and um, I went on to work in London and New York and do the fashion weeks and do all of that and you know, watch people starving themselves. I'm like, look, I just want to eat a bowl of rice. I don't have time for all of this. And that went on, um, and I was doing that while I was studying because I needed to, I needed to satisfy what you know, my family wanted me to do, which is they wanted a degree, they wanted a paper at the end of the day. So when it came to um, graduation, I took my certificate and I gave it to my mom and I said, here, this is for you. So now I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And all of this started with um, a thought which I believe is the beginning of everything. How you guys got here today was simply because you decided that I want to come to this event today. What you're wearing is simply because you decided I want to wear this today. And that's where everything begins from. So what are your thoughts? What do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? And you have to hold on to those things because believe me, there are so many challenges that are going to come your way. There are so many people who are going to tell you that what you're doing is foolish, it doesn't make any sense. Um, there's no money in it, there's no point, but you have to hold on to the thought that you have. So in doing that, I continued to work in the UK and then decided to move to Nigeria in 2012 because I had a job offer. Um, and I was deciding between whether I was going to stay in New York or if I was going to come to Nigeria and somehow Lagos won. And I say to myself every day, I wouldn't change that decision for anything. I will always choose Lagos. If I could do it over and over again, I would choose Lagos. And I continue to prove myself to an industry of people who didn't know who I was. Because you know how it works in Nigeria. Like, the first question is, who are you? What's your name? Where's your family from? What have you done? It doesn't even matter what you've done. So I had, to, I, I had to start from the ground up. And in doing that, I built this career for myself, which is still continuing on, um, and I had to be prepared for what was going to happen, because when I moved here, I had a lot of people tell me that, you know, things are going to happen really fast, people are going to want to be your friend, you're going to lose friends, you're going to lose family, so you have to be prepared, which goes to the second point about preparation. How many, how many of you are actually prepared for the things that you say you want? How many of you are prepared for the level of success or the level of failure that comes with the things that you want to do? It's more than just about thinking it and saying it and trying to do it, but are you ready? And maybe that's what's 
preventing you from getting to the next step is that you're not quite ready to receive it. And, you know, I moved on from that and got to a point in my career where I am now where I'm sort of satisfied with what I'm doing, but I want a little bit more. I want to impact people. I want to feel like I'm adding value into people's lives and I feel like being... Uh, uh, an actor, being an influencer allows me to show people what I do. It allows me to change their mood and maybe inspire them to aspire for more. But how much value do I add? How much do I give you for you to take home and do something great with yourself? Which led me into the direction of, you know, chasing business ventures. So, you know, here goes another thing that you guys don't know about me. I have a social media management agency called Think Social, which is all about developing content for brands. And uh, we've worked with the likes of Pandora and um, are working with a brand new airline that will be launching in Nigeria next year called JetWest. So that made me scared because I sat for two years not doing anything with this business because I was afraid of transitioning but I knew that I needed to move. I knew that I had a vehicle that I needed to do something with. And when you have a vehicle, when you have an idea, you can have so many people around you who are ready to ride with you and who are ready to put fuel into this car, but who gets behind the, dri who gets behind the driver's seat? It's you. And that brings me to my third point, which is all about execution. Nothing in this life is free. You have to work for it. And I know that the people in my industry have made a lot of you think that these things happen like that. Like these things appear just like Instagram says it appears or just like Facebook says it appears. A lot of us have worked extremely hard, like years and years and years to get to where we are. Ima hasn't got, what is it, a million followers now? We're almost there. Oh, my time is almost up. Anyway, he hasn't got all of those followers because he just sat and it was a stroke of luck or he just prayed. He worked at it. He worked for people for free. He went in and in and in to get to where he is right now. And it's starting to show. So those are my three points. Have a thought, be prepared, and execute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Zainab. That was fantastic.